Peace, peace was good. Sali, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to get into one of the biggest blocks on the spiritual path. One of the biggest blocks on the spiritual path. Very important topic, um, very important message for true metaphysical students. So let's describe what a spiritual path is before we get into one of the biggest blocks. A spiritual path is just like that. It's any path that's going to help you grow spiritually. There's many different disciplines. There's many different practices. And most people that view the channel, um, you're already aware of like working on your chakras, the universal laws, um, finding your life's purpose, um, doing some sort of martial arts or Tai Chi or Qigong. And the list goes on of all the disciplines and all the practices to, to help you grow spiritually. So a spiritual path is any path, and there's many, to help you grow spiritually. So what is one of the biggest blocks that people have on the spiritual path? That would be the ego. The ego is one of the biggest blocks that prevent people from growing spiritually. Now, to have a body means you have an ego. Okay, so that's, that's very important to understand. So we're not saying that the ego is bad or even that you have to kill the ego um, so much. And that's another topic in itself when people say you have to kill the ego. Um, from my practice and from, from what's been revealed to me is you want to minimize the ego. Um, the ego has its function in the world, but to grow spiritually, you want to minimize the ego. So that's a very important distinction that I want to lay out here on this video. So the way we can look at the ego as far as how it prevents us from on a spiritual path. First, let's describe the ego. Um, let's give it another example to make this all understandable. The ego expresses itself through your five physical senses. The ego expresses it itself to your five physical senses. Your five physical senses are touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sight. So the ego, it expresses itself through there. So, so the opposite of spirituality is physical. And the ego expresses itself through these physical things because you touch physical things, you hear things that come from a physical level, you see things that are physically um, physical. You um, taste things that are physical. And um, you feel things that are physical. Uh, I think I hit all of it, but y'all get the point. So, so, um, so how can this prevent you from growing spiritually? Just like I said, the ego identifies with that which is physical. And the whole thing of a spiritual path is you want to go inside yourself. And it's an internal thing. Like we say the five physical senses and we call um, intuition the sixth sense. In all actuality, intuition is truly your first sense. And it's out of your intuition or that first sense that creates the five physical senses. Without that initial thought, intuition, you could have no five physical senses. Because when you come into the body, your mind or consciousness or the soul creates the ego. It's not the other way around. Your ego doesn't create the soul. And I know it's one popular phrase that you're not a human, um, you're not a soul having a human experience. You are a soul. You know, and I find that to be very true. Because when we get into the body, we forget our connection to the source. We forget all about our previous incarnations. We see this as the only lifetime. This is what it is. There's nothing beyond the physical illusion, and that prevents people from growing spiritually. So when you identify on the spiritual path, everything through your five physical senses, it keeps your mind focused on that which is physical. And the whole thing about growing spiritually is going beyond the physical illusion. So there's ways of using an ego to grow spiritually. And to give you a couple of examples, like, um, we all have our personal television shows that could be considered somewhat egotistical. Because you can say you have a favorite show, then that means that right there denotes that there is a bunch of shows that don't resonate with you. That's identifying with your personal self, which is another function of the ego. The ego uh, uh, 
identifies with just you as a person. It doesn't see humanity in general. It doesn't see that we're all connected to the collective unconscious. It identifies with only you. So to say you have a favorite show is somewhat of an egotistical statement. I'm not saying once again that that's bad or good. I mean, it just is what it is. So when you look at your personal favorite things, that is somewhat egotistical. And to grow spiritually, we understand that everything is needed for wherever someone is. So someone may, for instance, go to church. It's egotistical for me to tell that person to stop going to church. Why? Because that person may need church. Say someone was in a previous lifetime where they were a murderer or a Satan worshiper, quote unquote. That's a whole nother discussion, is Satan real or not? But say someone was into a lot of dark energies in their last lifetime. And in this lifetime, maybe they joined the church. Well, they may need a Ten Commandments. You know what I mean? They may, need, they may need to be a better person. They may need this in this lifetime, so maybe in a few lifetimes, they can get into a true path of enlightenment. So, for me to say that someone doesn't need church, that's somewhat egotistical of me because I'm putting my personal preference on someone outside of myself. Once again, creating separation because a true occult overstanding is we're all connected. So what I do helps the next person. What the next person does is help me. But once I start to tell people what they need to do, I have an agenda. I have a focus. I'm telling people I'm putting my views on other people. So a lot of times you hear me just share things, you know, um, share things that work for me. But to sit here and say that there's one path, there's one way of doing things, man, that's, that's, that's tomfoolery. You know what I mean? That's very much tomfoolery. And to know that everything can serve a purpose to help you grow spiritually is seeing beyond the veil of illusion and seeing how everything is connected. So when you get on a true spiritual path, once you start to identify everything through your five physical senses, you start to see the physical as only thing there is. And to go to a, a to grow spiritually, you have to remove the blocks of the ego that tells you that everything is physical. Because another function of the ego is it does not want you to grow spiritually. That's the function of the ego. The ego lives through physical things. So it prevents you from growing spiritually. So it's going to show you and tell you that you are separated from other people. It's going to tell you that your information is better than the next person's information. It's going to tell you all these things so you don't grow and evolve to an enlightened level. And that's why you get the sayings where people say you have to kill the ego. And I, that's not something I profess and teach. I teach that you need to minimize the ego. Lower what your personal preference is only when it deals with yourself and not tell other people this is my preference and this is the best way and only way. Like, um, I know we had a, um, a something like on, on Facebook on my cousin's um, Juice Metaphysical Myers on Team Enlightenment where someone was coming in and they kind of had it, um, it came across very much like they had an agenda that there is one way of doing something and what other people are doing, they're not growing. That is an egotistical statement to tell someone that they're not going to grow or that they need to get down with your program. Once again, there's nothing wrong with having a program or, or um, living your life for what you know. Like me personally, I can, I can set up like a group, like a meetup group or something or have a build session when we talk about numerology. But once I start to tell people that numerology is the only science that you can use to grow spiritually, I just put my ego in the forefront. But just to get with other like-minded people and build on numerology and numbers, that's not really egotistical. That's building. But like I said, once you start to tell people that that's the only way, that my way is the best way, that's where you get tapped more into that ego. And it's going to prevent you from growing spiritually. So to recap, the ego is one of the biggest blocks that we have on the spiritual path because the ego wants you to identify with everything physical. And also the ego will make you feel like that you are on a pedestal and everybody believe you, uh, is beneath you. 
That's why they'll say something like, man, that's an egotistical person. What they're really describing is this person put themselves above everybody. And it's like a sports team analogy where a team is only as good as its, as its weakest member. If humanity in general is a team, then we're truly only good or, or we're only, um, yeah, we're only good as our weakest member. But to tell that quote unquote weakest member what they should be doing, you're putting your agenda and you're putting your ego on that person. A better, um, probably a better result would be to for you to do more inner work and being a better example for that weakest member. And that's what us as teachers, as an occultist, what we do is we vibrate and gain as much light as possible. And when you do that, the universe will arrange it where people will come and seek your help. When someone asks for your help and you recommend things to them unbiasedly, um, analyzing where they are and identifying what they can probably do to help them grow, then that's not you putting your ego on it, that's you sharing light. But just to go on the top of a mountain and tell people you need to do this, you need to do that, and you need to do somewhat of, of another thing, that's you putting your ego, what you personally feel like is the best, in someone else's, in someone else's corner. There's a difference between sharing and telling people this is the only way. That's a very egotistical thing to tell people that this is the only way of doing things. So the ego is one of the spirit, biggest spiritual blocks that I've seen on the path. And once you minimize that by going deeper within self to connect with that spirit, because spirit is opposite of physical, that's how you have some true growth. If this topic is of interest to you, we'll be talking about it more in depth on our radio show, Mind Right Radio on Blog Talk. And you can find the description in the or the the link in the description below. It's a radio show, Mind Right Radio. We broadcast every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern. And I want to give a shout out to my Wiz, uh, Sensor Rock, uh, Juice, Rob Cole, Orlando James, and also Master Sai. Uh, I call ourselves the Metaphysical Wu Tang. So when you tune in, you can hear myself and the Wiz, or you can hear. Uh, two or three other people. It just depends on what the, what the energy is. So we're going to go more into this topic this Sunday. If you're seeing this video after we did it, you can always click on that link below and see the archives of the previous shows. But I implore you or, um, to come out Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern. And if you disagree or you want to add something to the discussion, um, call in at 858-365-5534 and you press 1. Other than that, if you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, go to thirdeyeactivation.com. Until next time, this has been Ali. Peace.